Okay, so Git experience and pipelines. So before we even do this, you need to make sure that you have a connector that is tied to GitHub and it has the uh, API access enabled. So if you go in here, you'll specify you know, your connector um, and this needs to be checked. You need to make sure that you have the API access enabled and you pass in a personal access token. That's how you'll get this started. So once you have a Git connector with that, then you can go to your pipelines and we can create a pipeline and we can specify a remote and I can call this CD um, deployment pipeline and it'll dynamically generate the, the YAML path here. Uh, we can specify the Git connector and it was product management Rohan. And then we'll query for the repositories and I can say product management. And then within product management, I can pick a branch and I'll say my default branch is main. And I have a file folder path here and I can say pipelines slash CD pipeline, and then just like that, it's been configured. Next, I'll configure a stage and I'll keep it simple. So I'll just do a deploy stage. So I'll call this CD deploy, and I'll configure this with a service of portal. Oop, portal. And then I'll pass in an environment of staging, and I'll give the infrastructure. And then I'll select a rolling deployment. And then I'll also configure an approval. And I'll configure the step so that it's uh, you know going to be an approval gate to prod. So I can have like my team approve it and apply the change. And then I can create another deploy stage. And I can propagate from the previous stage because it's the same service. And then I can pick the environment again. And maybe it's like, you know, a different infrastructure or the same environment either way. And then you can do like, you know, a canary deployment. And just like that, I can go ahead and save and I can make a commit or I can open up a PR. So if I do um, commit to a new branch, I can say main patch and merge into my main branch. And I can hit save. And what it'll do is these changes that I made, it'll be open up a PR for me and I can actually view this in GitHub. So if I go into my pull request in this repo, you'll see the sixth one open. It's the one I just created and I just opened up a PR and what that commit contained was by me. And if you see in here, my entire pipeline that I just built in the UI is opened up in a PR. And what I can do is I can review the changes and then once it's reviewed, I can submit like an approve. Oh, uh, I need to leave a comment, my bad. Uh, this looks good and then I can submit a comment and then I could say you know merge the pull request and I can confirm the merge and then now that it's merged I can go it back in to my pipeline and I can change the branch to main and what it'll do, Harness will reload the pipeline with the new merge. And you'll see that now it's on the main branch. I have all these three stages that I've configured. And I can actually go for ahead and like run the pipeline with this. And it'll use the right branch with the most updated stuff. And I'll just go and run. And that's the Git experience in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please check out the docs. We have um, a, a sample set up there as well that you can definitely use. Have a good one.